The long, difficult journey toward a college degree culminated for many WGU Washington students when the university held its second annual commencement ceremony on May 18th at Seattle's Benaroya Hall. In just its second year of operation, WGU Washington graduated over 550 students. That's 550 working adults from every corner of the state taking new skills and knowledge into their jobs and careers. Of those graduates, 167 attended commencement. Chancellor Jean Floten provided the welcome and opening remarks. If anybody's especially happy to be here today, could you indicate that by giving me an owl hoot? <laughs> And the Honorable Cyrus Habib, a representative from the state's 48th legislative district, served as keynote speaker. You're not stuck in traffic. You are traffic. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Our responsibilities are shared as a colony. We are all, in that sense, we have much to learn from each other. And so His address and jobs, its themes of hard work and creative solutions was poignant and inspiring. Like we think of WGU Washington as a model we want to replicate, we want to grow. As were the remarks of the three student speakers, Kathy Johnson of Newport, Auburn's Julius Harone, and the Connie Summers from invaluable. Bothell. And when I completed my capstone, I was so proud. I could look at this piece of work and truly see the culmination of all my studies. I've learned through this that I am more than viable and a little bit brilliant. Leela Hippie, Master of Science, Curriculum and Instruction, Lake Stevens, Washington. Following the conferral of degrees, Representative Habib and local musician Miss Valerie Lopez electrified the auditorium with their take on Gershwin's Summertime. It was a fitting punctuation to a memorable afternoon and a rewarding journey for so many hardworking Washingtonians. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus, improv, chorus. 